The towering peaks of Gilgit Baltistan are notorious among skilled mountaineers. The mountains here are some of the harshest places on earth. One of the highest and most demanding environments in the world can be found in the remote region of Gilgit Baltistan. The Markor, Ibex and the Marco Polo sheep are among the various mountain ungulate species found here. These are the majestic creatures that have roamed the high mountains of Asia since the last ice age. In order to survive here, they have evolved into some of the toughest animals on the planet. But they may be more vulnerable than ever before. Recent changes in the climate, illegal hunting and various human intrusions are threatening their chances of survival. Among these mountain monarchs is the revered Markor, the national animal of Pakistan. It is the most accomplished mountaineer, conquering steep mountain faces with great natural power. The females choose the steepest cliffs to raise their young. While the newborns can soon walk, the mothers still prefer to hide them in caves to protect them from predators. Survey teams, with the help of experienced watchers, try to spot the newborns. Summer is a crucial time for the Gilgit Baltistan Wildlife Department to conduct its annual lambing surveys. We do two kinds of surveys, a trophy size and a status of the other one, and we do new bonds and so we can update our management plans and conservation plans. The forest and the wildlife field, we involve our interns in our surveys, and they come with us and work with us. When they train, and when they come to the department, they get a train. Before the introduction of game conservation, hunting was a common practice among many locals. Excessive hunting of vulnerable species such as the Markor was becoming a concerning threat. Like many locals, Shukar Ali was a hunter in the past. He spent a great deal of time in these mountains, tracking Markor and Ibex. After the restrictions placed on hunting, he now applies his skills as a wildlife guard. I have been here for about 16-17 years. I have been here for a long time. 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 सिर्फ थोड़ा सा हमें कोशिश करने चाहिए है करने पे ये मजेद बढ़ने की मुमकिनात है। Until 2015, the conservation status of the Marco was listed as endangered by the IUCN's red list. It has since moved down to near threatened, which means that their population is growing again. Since the world population of Marcos exists largely within Pakistan's territory, the country has a special role to play in protecting these rare species. The Himalayan ibex, a close relative of the markor, is also from the capra species. But unlike the markor, the Himalayan ibex is found in larger herds with a much wider distribution across the region. The first survey of wildlife or IUCN in Khyber in 1983, in Khyber only 13 ibex were seen in Khyber. And now, alhamdulillah, in Khyber there are 8,000 ibex. The highest population of ibex now inhabits northern Hunza, especially in the watershed of the Kunjarab. Its survival is not as threatened in Pakistan, largely due to the remoteness of the habitat. Despite this, they face increasing pressures due to limited food in these arid alpine regions, unable to compete with the overgrazing of domestic animals. 
Within Pakistan's territory, only the Marco Polo subspecies of the Argali can be found. Unlike the Ibex and Marco, the Marco Polo sheep is an occasional visitor to these frontier parts of Gilgit Baltistan. One of its special sanctuaries is the Karchanai Valley within the Kunjarab National Park. However, its irregular migration from Chinese Xinjiang into northern Hunza is being increasingly disturbed by border fencing. It is now one of the most severely endangered of any of Pakistan's ungulate species. As its numbers dwindle, more attention is now being focused on the precarious status of this magnificent wild sheep within Pakistan. The fate of these mountain monarchs rests on a thin edge. To maintain a stable ecosystem, protecting their natural place in the wild is now more urgent than ever. Conservation of these rare animals has proven to be a challenging task. Partnering with mountain communities to spread awareness on the importance of these species is essential to this effort. Strict hunting regulations and law enforcement, as well as regular monitoring of the existing population, are also critical steps being taken by the Gilgit Baltistan Wildlife Department. It is our responsibility to take action today to ensure that these rare species not only survive, but thrive in their natural environment in the years to come.